갑자기 내게 나타나죠 너 Hey guys, hoping you are doing well. My name is Masi and I'm not I'm here just to remind you we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe to this channel. Now this week's video I'm going to show you how I do my laundry as I make a review of this washing machine. Let me just tell you a backstory. Before Corona came, I used to have Mama Fua. She used to come once a week and I used to pay her 1000 to do the laundry. And then after Corona, I felt a bit unsafe for her to come in the house because I have kids and I see Jeremy talk about happy. And so I started doing laundry myself. It was so hectic. It was and it was overwhelming. Kabisa kabisa. And I thought, okay, I had not actually thought of a washing machine before that because I thought, wow, these are products for like <laughs> rich people, high-end uh, products. I thought they were like 100,000 or, or something like that. So I never, never considered before that. But when I started washing and it was so overwhelming, I said, let me just check how much do they cost. And to my surprise, they are actually affordable. And... Uh, in terms of electricity and water and nini, nini um, I'm going to talk about all that so if you want to know how much it costs and if it's actually a good product that I recommend please stick around to the very end because first I want us to um, just discuss how it works and then I'm going to give you all that information <laughs> Um, the type I have is Vaughn and it is a 10 kg washing machine. It is a twin tub. Uh, we have this one right here for washing and we have this one right here for spinning and uh, removing the excess water. So let's just begin by, let me just show you around this one. This is the wash timer. So here is where you like select the minutes that you want your um, laundry to wash. And here we have uh, the type of wash you want. We only have two. That is the normal and the gentle. Mostly I use the normal, but the gentle is for like uh, those delicate fabric. And then here we have the drain, um, the drain selector. So if you want to, like you're done washing and you want to drain the water, you just. Uh, Bring it right here. You're gonna to see when I, I start to clean. And this one is for spinner. So you just um, time if you want them to spin for one minute or two or five, depending on what you're looking for. So that is all the uh, information that is there. Then here we have the water inlet pipe. This one is the one that you're supposed to use but for me it's a bit short and guys please if you know where I can get like a longer one because it clearly can't I think it water and so what I'm supposed to do is to put water manually using a bucket and that's quite a lot of work but this is the same one you also use you uh, put it right there and you connect to the tap so that uh, you can bring water during uh, spinning so that it can uh, rinse off your water but definitely I don't use it because it is smaller and the size of my tap is a bit bigger so for me I just use <laughs> the bucket to put in water so this is the wash section this is a uh, 10 kg and as I said this is for spinning it's a bit smaller I think it can hold in. is it 6 or 8 kg I'm not sure uh, this one is a bit smaller and this one is just for leveling up clothes so that when you're spinning you just close when I'm like spinning the clothes but yeah that's about it and then here we have this <laughs> in your to connect for steamer so I have an extension right outside here so that uh, the machine connects to the electricity and then right here this one, this is a drain, drain pipe. So um, what there is, it has to be like flat on the ground, and then 
in a family matching a talker so it has to be somewhere like a bathroom setup or something that's why we're here or the balcony somewhere where you can drain the water when you're done uh, i have already poured the water here and there are indications in there we have the lowest point and that's where my water is at right now we have medium and then we have the highest here you're not supposed to surpass that limit so depending on the size of the load size you're going to um put your water you know so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to use this uh russell uh liquid washing machine soap and i'm just going to put one one cup so i've kept i've put one cup of this because my water is at lowest and then i'm just going to uh spin that a little so that the water can uh, mix in the clothes of course, of course I start with the baby clothes and I wash them separately so when you have you're using a washing machine it's just like hand washing you have to sort sort your clothes start with the ones that you know you would want to clean first and then the white separately like you have you have to uh, sort your clothes um, now I'm just going to uh, time my clothes so I want them to go for a full cycle their baby clothes are a bit dirty so that's uh, 15 minutes and as you can see this is what even if you have a cup the water should be slightly above the clothes so that it can clean correctly and as you add it. so if you see like your if you see your clothes are not spinning well it's either you've kept you've put too much uh, a lot of clothes sorry or uh, the water you're using is not sufficient so you can either remove the some of the clothes or add more water yeah so that's how as you can see magicians are that and it's only been it's not even been too many Yes. Basically, the way the clothes are cleaned is uh, okay. Down there, I, I, I think I, I didn't show you. There is an agitator. So what it does, it spins the clothes and they rub against each other, and that's how they they get clean. So it's basically village hivi, rubbing the clothes against each other. That's what the washing machine does. And with this, you don't need to like hand wash the clothes prior to putting them here but if you have a stain i think uh or a stain that you need to remove you have to do you know extra so that it can come out but if it's just the basic that clothes come out perfectly clean has already completed a full cycle of washing and as you can see the water is a bit dirty um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to transfer these clothes to the spinner sorry to the spinner so that uh, the excess water is removed and so basically this is what makes it a uh, semi-automatic machine because for the automatic one, it washes, spins, rinses, you know, all those things. But for this one, you have to remove the clothes from this tab to this tab manually. And that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so, this machine is for, from Vaughn. One hot oil, and we bought it at twenty thousand. 
20,000 I'm going to put this spinner cup so you have to make sure the water the clothes are leveled up and then and then we close we're going to spin it for one minute remember this is just immediately after here so I need to put it back here okay you just remove this tap and you connect to your water source but as i said i can't do that because this pipe right here is too narrow for my pipe and again i feel it takes up a lot of your water because this water in uh, to the spinner so there is no way you can like recycle that water uh, to use it in another area so you end up wasting a lot of water what I prefer is to spin them until they, they are almost like semi-dry so after they maji and I rinse them from here and it also gives me an opportunity to work your maji fabric softener because if you are maji too in here so there is no chance yeah to work fabric softener and so we are just going to spin it for one minute This spinner has a safety measure. I think we are going to in a stall. I think we are going as you can see. We are going to go in a stall. And like this one, we are going to go spinning completely. So I think it's a good measure. And But you are not supposed to do that. You are supposed just to uh, put your timer ile time unataka and just wait for it to complete it's not advisable to keep on opening and closing as it uh, spins so now that it's memoriza let's uh, check our clothes <sighs> so you see I use it to offer anything nothing in fact in war it was semi dry you only need to kweka kwa jua like one hour at most and then we let mature your magiote when we are rinsing we are going to use much kidogo i mean it's not still as much as any like rinse for like marambili because your maji mingi metoa imetoka so the rinsing it akua too cool or the excess detergent and maybe some that so i only need to rinse them once and as you can see, nguo zimetoka hii kwanza ilikuwa chafu sana. They are clean kabisa. I've not had any issue uh, with my clothes, but you have to understand like I we usually wash uh black dust coats. Dust coats are usually dirtier than like the normal clothes. So for the dust Dust clothes and the other clothes that are a bit dirty, now I can for two cycles. But this is in the to normal, just one cycle is enough to clean the wall completely. So I'm going to clean the rest because he magic. Okay, one thing I realized with this washing machine, if you're not careful, because like the lowest, in a two three buckets of water, and you know you can't go below that. So this water. Mr. to me, I'm going to recycle it to you. I'm going to clean more clothes here. And then after such as my random it has a rinse. That's how I usually do to conserve water because it might end up using a lot of water. But anyway, I do not let me not say because I do not know like eos spinners in the front. This is a top load, huh? So I don't know whether the front load in uh, I can go up, whether it uses less. Because this is just my first washing machine. In case you know, guys, comment down below what you to to learn to do it if it uses less or uh, more. So when it comes to electricity, 
before my washing machine I used to use 1000 tokens are 1000 and right now I'm using 1500 per month so you know get to 500 and I think that's such a, a good deal because mama fuwa wangu alikuwa anatumia 1000 per week that's like 4000 in a month so an additional 500 is for me is uh, okay it's perfect when it comes to the detergents that i use this is what i am using uh, right now for the normal clothes which i'll get here this one i like to use for baby clothes and trousers but honestly speaking this is this powder soap is expensive in my opinion and i don't know whether if i use like the normal acid or the normal uh, detergent yakufua I don't know whether it's um, it can clog the machine. If you know, guys, please advise me because maybe he, no, no, it's expensive. I would rather use this one, but I don't know whether it's safe for machine. But this one, this is a nice deal. It's also a bit expensive, but it smells in natural ways. You can hear the zuri, and it it's very effective. You only need like one cup. So I think this is a good deal. But for this one, I'm not so sure about. And this one, I don't know whether it's going to clog my machine. So if you know, please comment down below. Let me know. Oh, also you can use soap flakes. I'm yet to buy those. I'm going to try them out. I don't know if they are effective. I'm going to use them, and I'll tell you as the time goes. So when you're when you're uh, turning the wash timer, make sure your hands are dry. I'm just going uh, to spin it for one cycle that's 15 minutes. And as you can see, guys, I've already cleaned all the clothes that I wanted to clean. Now I want to start rinsing and I start with baby clothes again. I have already poured in the water that I need for dressing and I've saved you that because it's a lot of work. So I'm going to go in with this Star Soft fabric conditioner just to make the clothes smell, you know, nice. So I'm just going to pull through. It will be enough. And then I'm going to go in now to put the clothes. So as I said, you can also rinse when spinning, but it will waste a lot of water. And here, this this water will rinse off a lot of clothes. And for rinsing, you don't have to go like the full cycle because the clothes are already clean. So I'm going to set it for just six minutes. They are good to go. I don't have to rinse again. But now, after rinse, work other, depending on how dirty the water gets, I drink my kamachi in here. So, in short, I can just say if you're looking for a machine very basic just to help you with uh, washing clothes, this my washing machine has like reduced my workload by 95 percent <laughs> because basically the only thing that i have to do is to go up with a spinner and then so i would 100 percent recommend this type of uh, washing machine oh another plus for this washing machine uh it can wash the light duvets and those are the ones that i mostly have so i don't have to take my duvets to the dry cleaner again any longer and it can actually Pin them so it's a plus like this is all I need <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you share this video with someone who might be looking for such content and let me see you on the next video bye